regarding the ligaments around the ankle, the first important in, uh, ligament is ascendosmosis, which is anterior inferior tibial fibular ligament, posterior inferior tibial fibular ligament, transverse tibial fibular ligament, and introsseous ligament. Then these are the lateral ligaments. The lateral ligament consists of anterior talofibular ligament, which is the weakest and most commonest to injure. Then is a posterior talofibular ligament, which is strongest of them, and the calcaneofibular ligament. The anterior talofibular ligament is weak, and it is tested by inversion in plantar inversion it's, it's, it's the restraint to inversion in plantar flexion and uh, most in commonly involved in ankle sprains the posterior talofibular ligament is the strongest of the lateral ligaments and limit posterior talar displacement the calcaneofibular ligament is tested by inversion in neutral and there is a lateral tail of calcaneal ligament which is deep to calcaneal fibular ligament. The medial ligaments are deltoid ligament which has superficial deltoid ligament which is tail attached to the tail navicular and tibiocalcaneal joints and the deep deltoid ligament which is anterior and posterior tibiotalar ligaments and they are primarily restrained to the anterior lateral displacement of talus. On the plantar aspect there is calcaneal navicular ligament which is a spring ligament and they stabilize, they are stabilizer of medial longitudinal arch and the head of the talus. Uh, X-ray should be done to cause a stress view with a one millimeter of talus shift reduce the ankle contact area of 42 percent. MRI is indicated if there is a pain for more than eight weeks in the ankle sprain. Regarding any ankle injury. Uh, Non-operative management is indicated with the, with the boot, physiotherapy, and proprioception with peroneal strengthening exercises. In operative, there are two options, either anatomical report or non-anatomical repair, which can be indicated in failure of conservative management. Anterior drawer test of more than 10 mm or more than 5 mm to the contralateral side is one indication for operative intervention. A various test test with more than 10 mm or more than 5 mm to the contralateral side is also an indication. Remember that the high demand will always need a non-anatomical repair, while the others would need anatomical repair. Regarding the anatomical repair, it utilizes the local soft tissues in that brostrum and gold is 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 a known operative intervention the torn end of atfl and cfl are shortened and repaired directly to the mid substance sutures and anchors and these are reinforced by the inferior extensor retinaculum as per gold an internal base brace can be also possible with arthrex which 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 can be added as a seat belt support particularly in hypermobile joints. Non-anatomical reconstruction cause is, is, is use tendon transfer to restore the stabilities, in which a once procedure, which is Peroni's brevis graft, is passed through the drill hole in the distal tibia and cross over and fixed. The Christmas snook is when the which roots anterior half of peroneal brevis through the fibula and maintain distal displacement to the base of the fifth metatarsal. There is another technique called Dequenoi technique, which consists of capsuloperistial flaps utilized.